Hey guys, what's up? My name's Up With Boss and welcome to what is going to be the biggest project that I've ever done on my channel. I'm going to play through the entire Assassin's Creed series before Origins comes out and it starts right now. Let's just start the game. Just, just hop right in. Let's just hop right in, guys. All right. Uh, hold up. All right. Yeah, this is all good. I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he has increased knowledge. And sorrow. That was kind of ominous. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize. Focus. Listen to this. Oh, it's kind of trippy. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Mr. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. Wow, this is really odd. We're losing him. That's enough, Mr. Man. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. All right, there we go. That was weird. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. The bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing! Animus. Right. It's an animus. I don't even know you people! Why are you doing this to me? Sorry, you I'm have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes! What do you want me to do? Teach you how to... Make some martini? We know I was gonna try to put some titles on. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. All right. A wise decision. Let's do this. The animus. Where am I? You're inside the animus. Which is? It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to AKA go? an excuse to make do? more games set in the past. Now Just your saying. Semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it. 
The fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. Mm -hmm. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. The tutorial? Serious, yeah? I know how to be a goddamn Assassin's Creed game. Warning. You skip the damn tutorial. No. Nope. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Mm -hmm. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Now use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Well done. Oh my god, this is so pandering. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. All right. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. Mm hmm This is for backwards compatibility, by the way. How I'm playing this on the Xbox One. Your button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Oh, that's easy. Well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. 
This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware uh -huh. or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. Mm -hmm. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. That's the first stealth kill of the game. Now what? The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Stop the assassin! Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. You can lose me. Shit, I'm gonna mess this up. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Okay, I know how to play this game. To the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. Mm -hmm. Down with it. All better things to do. Well done. The soldier has lost there we your go. track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Tell me what's on. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first and then use a hide spot to vanish. Uh-huh. All right, I get it. Hey, is important. Now, can we move on? Oh my God, we're 12 minutes in. We haven't even started the game yet. 13 minutes in. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Mm -hmm. Blend! Blend! Good. All right, now come on. You are fully synced. A new ability is available to you. Referred to as Ego Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Uh -huh. All right. Remember, Ego Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the creed. Uh -huh. You have successfully completed the tutorial. Oh, thank God. Your stable memory blocks will now be loaded. Achievement. Welcome to the Animus. I don't think... Yo, it does show off on your screens. That's cool. Sequence warning, guys. There must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An 
Excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will oh. scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Alright. <laughs> Start the game, finally. I don't even think this is sequence one. I think this is actually the tutorial still. Alright. Stealth kills. Oh yeah. There. That must be the ark. The ark. Of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masia. Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Alright. Templars, you are not the only ones with business here. Ah, well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. No, no, no. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Whoa, shit. <laughs> I thought he was kind of screwed now. The free running in this game is awesome. I've always loved the free running in Assassin's Creed. Oh shit! Oh my god. That's the problem with Assassin's Creed though. This shit happens all the time. Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. Oh, well, I kind of went to shit.
Young Yodung Swings. Altair, you've returned. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. Mm -hmm. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. So now we're finally. I believe we're in sequence one now. Did you see that? All right. Why am I all done to better? Hug it. is faster Yeah, okay, it's a castle, but what's going on? <gasps> ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, it's probably upstairs. Oh boy. Altair, master. Funny that he's still on the banister. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, 
to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I bought your favorite failed to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. Uh -huh. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. That's yeah, probably. whatever. To a more recent one. All right. Take her stealth, I guess. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew that. Can you play the game now? Thank you. I kind of know that because I gave it previously on my other profile, it's giving me all the tutorials again. And you may even do it if I just started a new game on that profile, I don't know. I don't know about hand-to-hand combat in this game, I'm going to avoid it as much as I can. not done with us yet where are we going up there we have a surprise plan for our guests just do as I do it should become clear soon enough oh shit <laughs> it's funny like Aren't they supposed to be aware of a pian? Stand on that platform, Altair. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! 
Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! I don't, I don't really like this game for the story. I mean, the story in this isn't as good as the story in some of the Gator games. I do think this game's all right though. All right, this is bugged out so many times for me. Let's keep moving. And there's well another to okay. drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me. Do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malikas told me of the arrogance you displayed, your mm -hmm. disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Uh -huh. Again, yeah, the story in this was not very good. Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Wow. Short game, guys. That's the end.
<laughs> right, yeah, it's totally gonna happen. He's experienced far better adoption rate than the other oh, subjects. I'm still great. Out. All right. He's been in there way too long. This is padding this. Yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. It's a great game, though. The gameplay is fantastic. I just think the Renaissance era is a better era for this sort of game. Yeah, like the Caribbean pirate stuff is much better. Golden Age of Piracy. Because this is padding right here. <laughs> Still awesome, though, the game. It's the one that started it all. Change my clothes. When you're proceeding mm -hmm. past any line of authority in front of the prisoner, there's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. And I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that too. I believe it's called stupid. No take. This isn't my decision. I don't set the deadlines, but I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like the Mishnah? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down, and then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. We just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his faith, now. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. All right, hurry up. This is padding. I'm sorry, I love this game, I really do. But this is the most padding of padding you can freaking get. Sprint. <laughs> Just let me continue in the past, please. No. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Oh, that's just great. More padding. Yay. Damn it, they locked the door. All right. The following morning. <sighs> Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? Mm -hmm. They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors but fail to treat the source and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education, re-education to be more precise. But it's not easy and it doesn't always take. Let me guess, you've got a better solution. What is it then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Alright. I've only got about another hour and a half, so I need to hurry up with this.
So I believe there's six sequences plus a final one. All right, that was memory block one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is collectibles. All right, so we fit, this is memory block two. I want to get this done in this and then we'll do one or two memory blocks per stream. And then we'll do the last bit. Just continue. Continue the session. Use free running to escape from a fight when exposed. Sprint to lose your enemies and jump through merchant stands to avoid the crowd. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this will be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No, not yet at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable, one of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. All right, and we are back. Very moving in a while. Oh crap, and I lost the bar of health. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has mm -hmm. asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. Mm -hmm. All 
Oh, wow, the physics engine just went for a spin there. Oh, wow. Boom. That was beautiful, you guys. That's clearly like, a good path to go to do this. This game is very open. There's plenty of ways to approach objectives. I know what there we go. Busun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. I gotta find the basket weaver. Alright. It's kind of funny what they say, because it's just like... Maybe it's because, like, my character's an assassin, and, uh... Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Bam. Got it. betrayed us I see the way you look at me hear the things you say a traitor I'm not a traitor it's Al Mualim who's betrayed us two days attack was but the first and more will follow unless you repent give up your wicked ways rise up against the madman of Masyaf see through his lies mm-hmm Get on my way, please. This guy's gonna have to keep ruining it. No, he's going that way. Okay, good. Enough! 
I yield! I yield! Speak quickly, then. I have no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should, too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. Mm -hmm. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more right. recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. <laughs> you did well, Altair. And have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the crusades continue. You will find them. Mm -hmm. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Uh huh. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. Yep. Yeah. All right. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I got that back. Very quick cue because otherwise the game wouldn't make much sense. Alright. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand. What oh my god, no. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Be busy. I understand. All right. I believe it's a young way over there. So, uh, yeah. Before each, I, I guess you could call them contracts. 
You gotta go for this really long and tedious section. Alright. Alright. Time for a really young, tedious section. Decently big open world, but there's not much to do in it. A lot of it feels empty. I do enjoy this game. I just don't think it's as awesome as it could be. It's awesome, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty. It could have been better. Alright. Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop. Climbing on buildings, however, is not. <laughs> That's funny. Is it no shit? There we go. Synchronized. Oh wow, I've got a really long way to go. Uh, yeah, it's a big open world, but it's also kind of dumb because of that. Yeah, all right. Calm down. Yeah. There! Come quickly! Don't let him 
All right, so how do I actually get? So this is the wrong way, right? Get off the damp, oh my God. Physics. Give me the damn flag. Boom. wasn't the way I was supposed to go. It's funny because I think so much faster than them. All right, here we go. Now we can actually head there. Whoa, I thought my game crashed for a minute there. There we are. Find you here. Use free riding to escape from a fight when exposed. Sprint to lose your enemies and jump through merchant stands to avoid the crowd. Yeah. Why is the ten three shut down? Oh, all right. This sounds a ten three shut. That's Damascus, circa of ninety one A.D. According to Assassin's Creed two thousand seven. Oh god damn it, I actually need to do this, I remember that now. 
That guy, oh my god. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Who could have done such a thing? This is an easy way to get through. That's one of the great things about this game, there's multiple ways to achieve your objectives. Yeah, all right. The viewpoint right here, this hopefully will get us one of our two investigations. The investigations are very repetitive, so I'm not going to be doing all of them. Alright, so I think this is the poor district of uh, Damascus, right? Yes, yeah, the poor district, that's the rich district, that's the rural district. So, first area is the Damascus poor district. There's nine different open worlds in the game, plus the kingdom and Mesaf. Alright. There we go, grab it! God damn, he's supposed to be like a master assassin, but. <laughs> oh my god. No, get up! Oh my god, no, 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 yeah, all right, fine, we'll crawl around. Up, oh. there we go, there we go. Yeah, get away, eagle. You got something important to do. Bam! And you behold, we did get a pickpocket mission. Teach your heresy elsewhere. Like what you see? Stop it, please. So let's go, uh, please. I've done wrong. take down this guy. Not take him down, just pickpocket him. You'll find everything here, my friend. <clears throat> There's nothing I do not have. You'll find it here, I'm sure of it. Something caught your eye? Do you understand? All right. Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Boom, got it. Well, wait, it's just a. Uh, it's gonna be a viewpoint. Oh, oh my god. That's not what you want to do. Run right through that. Oh, shit. 
could kill you for that. You could have been more careful. You have something to say? Oh my god! Wow. And there's the viewpoint right there, so yeah. How could I have lost him? Alright. Don't know what caused that, but whatever. And I got another mission. Wow, this has actually gone really well, this memory block. Sometimes you gotta go like five of them before you even get one. But now we got another pit pocket mission. Two pit pocket missions. Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. All right. What the hell? Well, that sucks. This is gone actually really poor, you. Like, wow. GG for that mission. Wow. And I got the bar helper. Oh, that's not the right guy. Whoops. What the hell, bro? God damn. Oh my god, this has gone absolutely terribly. Alright. I need to be more careful when I'm going across the streets. What the fuck is that guard doing? Come, 
Go on, start walking. There we go. Boom. That should have gone easier than it did. Alright, now I need to go to the Bureau Eater. And now I can do the assassination memory. Now I could do all the viewpoints to do very repetitive side missions, but it's just so repetitive. Like, you're already doing the same thing to a different person. Maybe I'll do them towards the later stages if like, we're getting really good on time. But keep in mind, I'll try and do as many as possible before uh, Origins comes out. But I don't want to get that hurt the quality of the LPs, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it some later point, but for this one, I'm not going to. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have seen them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Alright. There we go. Take that. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Ah, uh, there we go. Memory fast forward, there we go. This is the time to strike. Which means we have a main assassination target to do. First out of nine in the game. This is the bulk of the game here. That's a bit of Yagra. No real reason to worry. This game's got Yagier when I remember it being. Yag Yagier. Oh my god, I can't say everyone. Sorry. Your 
our men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, stop. Come on, I'll tell you a move. Stood before my men and dared to insult me. Oh my God, what is he doing? Move. I literally can't. I can't go any closer to him right now. I guess I'll be on my covers, no. but still. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. All right. Get out of my way, you stupid. <laughs> Boom, you're done. Oh crap, it's not the same guy. Shit. Oh, this is about to go to shit. I can sell this. Melt it down and try again. And if it comes out just as poorly, it be you gets melted down next. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Boom, you're done. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh. But I am, for I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit, just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Alright, this isn't gonna work. That's not gonna work. Run! Oh my god, what? Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I could almost completely desynchronize. Shit.
That was weird. All I gotta do now is not be detected by anyone. Simple, right? And I'm done. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafi, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. All right, and that is number two. Oh, there's two options here, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that's the other one. Oh, that's memory with Yacht 2 Out computer. The machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. All right, let's go through these cutscenes, but now I'm gonna end the stream here. The following morning, again. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Mm-hmm. There's another memory block compute. But memory block three will have to wait for another day. Because I'm gonna end this here, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh this is gonna be part one of a big Assassin's Creed series PA through ending with Origins eventually. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry, she'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What I couldn't do accomplish. Go. You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper. Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you mm -hmm. expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry, I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Alright. And I believe this is the start of a new member. If you can, if it is, I'm gonna end this stream here.
Yeah, this is memory block three. Memory block two is done. Memory block three is up ahead next. So thank you for watching. Just select the memory. I will see you guys next time with the continuation of Assassin's Creed 1. Bye-bye.